Hello everyone, welcome to my let's try of Game of Thrones. Again, just like the previous one I did, Tales from the Borderlands. Episode 1 is also free of Game of Thrones as well. A TV show that I have no interest in watching. So, I don't know. If any of these people are based on the TV show, I wouldn't know. I'm going in this with a fresh set of eyes. No, nothing about the TV show except that it's known for its nudity. Quite a bit of excessive nudity and stuff like that and such. But anyway, just like before, no thanks. Welcome to the Game of Thrones. Play episodes, tail, tail count. Let's go to settings. This time we'll put the subtitles on. Previous menu. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Again, episode one. The no the Northerners will never forget. You mean Canada? <laughs> anyway. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play, just like Tales from the Borderlands and every other Telltale game. For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. Ooh, I guess. I don't know. Meanwhile, at Boy Scouts, Boy Scouts camp. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker. Brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. He'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure so I could have just pressed X before. Lord sure Forrester practice. won't be happy with blood and brains oh. all over it. That's what I have to hold it's only blood. Okay. Let me just polish my sword here. I'll have one like it myself someday. Yeah, I'll nice you. and clean. You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course. I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you out for a cross the battlefield on your face. You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get me a liege, Lord, some wine. Go on. It's your job. Oh, um... Go oh, his squire. He did. Fetch him some wine. Thank you, Garen. I'll do it. Norrin's didn't hit anything, but I would have told silence there anyway. Centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your coat. The night we celebrate. To rob 
Robb Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, king in the north. north. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. Gods of favors. Onward to Casterly Rock. Oh, get to the Lannisters. Oh, winter is winter coming. Is coming. Let's hope it waits till this bloody war is over. Well, technically, winter is coming. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. So, who here watching is a fan of Game of Thrones? Something must be done. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, and I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You serve me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. And you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. Okay, let's let him down. Tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch his more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Make it up to you. Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Hit him over the head with it. Hit him over the head with it. Wine, <laughs> my armor, my <clears throat> my luck butt, to end up clean my hair. <laughs> Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. I think he was a lord the way he hands out orders. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is... At this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around that fucking wedding. Not me. What? Tomorrow I ride with Roderick and Lord Forrester. Sir Garrett the fucking great. Unbelievable. Maybe if my uncle were castle in there, we'd get him promoted too. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. He's got Lord Forrester's ear, doesn't he? Sure it didn't hurt. How much further? That's right. You mad? <laughs> the twin stronghold of House Frey, the Red Wedding. Whatever that means. Well, I know what wedding is, but Take a red time. wedding? Does that mean that there's gonna be bloodshed? Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. night for a wedding. They don't have enough wine, guys. They're they sitting on it. That's chairs. We can't take butt wine. Would you drink butt wine? I wouldn't drink butt wine. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Gary. What? What's wrong? The 
just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. Then take the fucking flagon already. <gasps> Language, What's mister. Something the matter. Bowen, we have Watch to your go. fucking mouth. We'll go if you're in such a rush. See you, I'm getting the language from this game already. Um, warn him, I guess. Good luck. Ho 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 ho! Rats! Bends the brakes. Oh god. Jeez, you just avoided the down thrust into that guy's chest. Alright. Can we just get to the part to where somebody yells this is Sparta and then somebody kicks him into a pit? Hold our tomb and drag with hell. I didn't do it right. They give you very little time to like read that and be like, oh, okay, that's what I gotta do. And then I just went and did it. And then it was just like, oh, too late. Let me attack you with my little wooden shield. Stay there and burn to death. Seems like a good idea. should have Edward, uh, not sorry, Gilbert Godfrey's voice. Got Help! I can't get out! Um, Did you see he's him or gone. Not? Hey, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Where's my squad? You he's didn't leave him, did you? That sense. Ooh, that's not going to be the best. Oh, it's just a flesh wound. Get up, you pansy. You want me to guard the sword with your life? Da, 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 da. You got the master sword. Oh wait, wrong game. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Even though I just left that guy to die. Uncle. Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those forests. Go. I won't. Honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! 
Yeah, kill them. Really? Really? You couldn't take on two guys? <laughs> Through the night, bronze trophy. I should have told him to stop whining. Yeah, I should have, but I didn't. And just like you said for the Tales of the Borderlands, I was going to hang up, but I thought, nah, I figured the nut scratching thing would have been even funnier to do. Episode 1, Iron from Ice. Most overrated show ever. Forrester Lands, the King's Road. What are you doing taking the King's Road? I'm not a king. Poser. Wannabe. See, there's the, pa there's the king right there. He's crossing right in front of me. <laughs> Go back this way. <laughs> Can I go up this way? No. Nope. Oh, that's my sword. Okay. Um, pig. That'll do, pig. That'll do. What's on top? Blood. And before he tastes it. Just going to hey bacon, free bacon. Take them, cut them open. Free bacon, take it. Yep. Yeah, see what? Fire. Lead bacon to fire. Cook bacon. Eat bacon. Go back for it. In simulator. That's Fazza's car. Sightseeing simulator. Sightseeing Simulator 2015. <gasps> that's a cart? That, that's a dead pig? <laughs> that's a pig walking across the road. All we need now is Randy Newman just to play the piano while he, uh... While I, you know, just... Say what I see. Three guys killing the pig. Three guys just... Three guys talking to me. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Oh god. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land what now, you? boy. Lord Bolton is the new Damn warden it. of the north. I forget what that I reckon you like movie a proper is. Grand Torino? Like that. Yeah, that's it. What are you, Grand Torino now? <laughs> Mad skills, yo. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Yeah, who needs a sword when you got a pitchfork? Really no, pitchfork. Pitchfork. <laughs> Twist it. Yeah, that works too. Whoop. 
You stab me in the leg. Who does that? Wrecked. Stab the other guy. Kill him. Kill him. No. Fuck your mercy. You stabbed my leg. You stabbed me in the back. In the leg. No. Fuck your shit. Fuck you. Dead. Wrecked. Died. Don't come back. Justice and mercy. Prom stroke you received. Fred will remember what you did. Yeah. Right off, you pansy. Pig farmer did that. Yeah. Bacon for life. Hashtag bacon for life 2006 uh, 2015 yeah that's Gunner. it yeah you survived god knows when i'll upload this video Your could sister. be 2016. she hid i tried to stop them i know and you did horrible Rest in peace, Dad. I'll kill the men who did this. Uh, you just killed like two of them, and you let one go. You have nothing but the yourself to blame for that. I would have took him out. I would have followed him. I was gonna say I would just take like a horse and just like go after him, but I just remember we're pig farmers, not horse farmers. It's Garrett! <gasps> it's Garrett that guy! Astley. Tell him his nephew survived! Then he gets up closer to the door and they're like, Oh, no, wrong guy. They don't open the gate for you. Garrett! Got stabbed in the back of the leg. How the fuck do you think I'm feeling? They were already it's dead. Really, already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly! He wanted me to protect something, or not let something fall. Two I can't remember what it was. And a Bolton. They killed my family, and for what? My sister. She, Free bacon. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Did you say maester? Don't you mean master? I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. I'd do it again. Do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with speed, they won't Possibly. stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. I was going to choose X, but I decided to go with Circle. Ah, yes. Pour that spaghetti in there. Days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Baby spaghetti. Okay, it's not spaghetti. The house is the Obviously, now maggots. In times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to leave. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Really? What do you mean by a bit? Hold this for me, will you? Ugh. What are we talking about here now? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. I let him die. Lord Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. 
Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Want to do the hockey pokey for you? Go on, don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay, I'll just walk in circles to make it circulate a little bit more. Anyway. Um, uh, window. What's here? Take a look at that painting over there. I kind of want to. Yeah, there we go. Or tapestry, whatever. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. <coughs> Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. He ain't so good now. Right. It's not as good as he once was. He's the fourth born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. She's reading the cat to the hat. Like I was a no, she's, cat to, she's reading to the cat to the hat. Yeah, that's it. She's reading the cat, the cat in the hat to this woman, Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Eh, no thanks. Hmm. I don't, get, I don't care too. Always sad to see a warrior Let's look out the way though. I'm fine, Mestral Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Look, I'll just walk to this window. I'll show you how fine I am. I wouldn't see Ironwood Grove. I wouldn't see outside the window. Fine. Fine game. Let's just walk slowly to the stairs. I can't walk down. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought this was the stairs here. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Oh, hello. Let's see, uh, let's look at medical supplies. Uh, pick up. Let's pick up, uh, healing herbs. This mile. Looks like asparagus, but you know, whatever. Um, let's touch a bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. A lot of people wouldn't say that these days. They would be like, ooh, maggots. And then that would also lead to a dead body. All of a sudden they form it like a face hugger and then like eat your face off. <laughs> mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. No. You see the... It's a good thing you've done. Bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who 
is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester. <coughs> advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. <coughs> Which is a little frightening Excuse when you think about it. Sorry for the coughing, folks. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say because they're bacon. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. It was over bacon. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but. Lady we'll find out if you collapse while you run away from Welcome enemies. Home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. This is all Brad. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? No, it's, it's a lie. Family... Why does your hair look like spaghetti? Om nom nom. I'm so sorry. Me too. Starts eating there. <laughs> Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure there was <coughs> chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. It's because yes, I lady. killed them all. Be <laughs> a squire. Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove? What of it? He said, the North Grove must never be lost. The North Grove? Interesting. I see. You have the Forester's sword. What is this? No, this is Master's sword. He's the oh wait, wrong game. Perhaps. Thank you, Garrett. Cut her head of off. course, my lady. It demands a response. Red it's too dangerous, Red especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was Hey, I was fighting with that sword, and you take people. it away. Your family! <sighs> I share your outrage, Sir Roy. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend <coughs> knee. Oh, Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Who's Randy Snow? We're the Snow? ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forester land. They killed, they killed my, my family. family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our Unless he takes a left they're still attached on Albuquerque. To our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some and sense into your uncle. Garrett's Sorry. suffered enough already. You ask too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <clears throat> if you did, you're not smart enough. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy. He's a boy. He knows anyway. nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. 
The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Through Francis their eyes. Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. <coughs> we'll see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot yeah, take. Yeah, let's take on... Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Ramsey Snow. The boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Balkans. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Balkans. I'm afraid it's the only... Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do. Thanks, Uncle. You're a fucking douche. That settles it. They were trying to steal our bacon. I was you just protecting the bacon. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. <clears throat> well, give me some bacon before I go, at least. Don't be greedy, you asshole. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart and give him a chance. Do I it. Would. God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. Well, I kind of For good went back reason, on his word on that. Most don't even know it exists. <coughs> it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I well, you're going to hate me because I already blabbed the secret. You haven't told anyone else, have you? I doomed you all. Lady Forrester, the Maestro Tengren overheard. I appreciate your honesty. But Lord Forrester's message was not meant for their ears. I'll speak with Lady Forrester, and I'll deal with the Maester. He's the last person I would trust with this information. Which is why, from this day forward, this must be our secret. Soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Yeah, sure. Just, uh, you know, text me on the cell phone when you need help. And, no, you know, come here on my uh, horse. I am from ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. I'm gonna loyally fuck up. Bye. That's the horse galloping, by the way. Or, sorry, walking. Lord of the Rings. Be safe. Uh, I should say Uncharted. Never mind. I was thinking ring around the uh, necklace. That's more of that's an Uncharted reference. <clears throat> I don't know why I said Lord of the Rings. Anyway, it looked like the same type of necklace too, except it didn't have a ring at the end of it, like Sir Francis Drake. 
a long road ahead. Ethan? Where the hell is this at? Ethan! Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. Lord of Ha- Lord of- <laughs> Lord of Dead Guy! <laughs> I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. <laughs> I'm right here. And, and I then promise, I disappeared. I'm not going anywhere. I should have just pressed triangle. <laughs> I wish we were here. And Asha. And, and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and. Won't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. He may still be tangled, he said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. You're just telling the Lord on what to do. What's the matter? Lord Whitehead is alive, be <laughs> unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were you, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I might remind you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, my lord. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. Well, he's treating the Lord like a... Oh, wait, I am a kid. Never mind. Wait, didn't he say to follow him? He just walked the other way. It's like my guy just said, screw you, and then just walked, walked the other direction. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. Business with Garrett. That's all. <coughs> Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men. Hi hey there. We were having a private chat. Did have to barge right in. <clears throat> My condolences for your father and brother. You killed him. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family, it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. 
The foresters finally get their due. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to the lord! <laughs> you foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the north now. Roose Bolton is the warden of the north. Ah, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered <coughs> your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? What the hell's Ironwood anyway? Wood's just wood. Unless there's like metal trees up Your there. Your man, the squire. We were Iron trees. Our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. Garrett was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men, and a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord? Should have chose that he was defending his family. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raid like and him know a Forester man killed one of his own. But the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Defiancy or diplomacy? He stood up to him like a bronze trophy achieved. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Look at those fancy boats. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's Mayor Forrester, Red Gate King's Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the I remember you from the... If it's presented the, to wait, her as a ship. Wait, No. Tapestry, yes. I remember your painting in the tapestry. You were in the painting. You were one of the people in the painting. Oh, I get to control her? Okay. Let's see. Uh,
It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Go away, I'm busy washing myself in this with this wash pan. Wow. Could have been getting changed. I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you like. Later would be best. Of course, my lady. <laughs> well, I love it. Oh, hello. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. So, is this going to be like a lesbian sex scene coming? Is that what's going to happen? Because, you know, it's Game of Thrones. Anything Thrones, anything can happen, I right? I you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. I admit, there's a redhead's heart. If only Crunk, Crunk Man was here, he would, he would agree. He raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted wonder if Tiger would like that. She was very pleased with herself. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, <coughs> she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know. Everybody wants an She's apology on this. Now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to eat your bacon. Don't get pissed. Alright. Time to confess and confess to eating bacon, which I didn't do. Didn't mean to eat your bacon. Why do you look like a guy from Oblivion? You're this is an Elder Scrolls. Really you may feel one thing, but you must say another. And before a castle guard comes, halt! Thief, whatever. I can't remember Good what luck. the saying is. Damn it. Anyway. <clears throat> oh my god. Loading screen. Loading screen. Loading screen. You can do this. Apparently, I can only walk in a straight line. Ah, oh, damn, she has red hair too. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Hey, look, it's. Let you me guess, that's you. Peter Dinklage. Your Grace. With your permission. Or allow me to maybe he's a hobbit. Lady Mira of House Forrester. <coughs> um, kneel before. Your Grace. Girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? 
I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yes, she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves? She's a woman. You can't satisfy. If you have any, uh, I mean, <clears throat> is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Uh, yes, absolutely. Grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather... Unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe with the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renner Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... the girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly, your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> so much for pleasing her. I'm kind of, I kind of find it hard to keep track of names. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Something tells me. He, She's going to say, kill her or something like that. Kill her in her sleep or something. What's up, Peter Dinklage? I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't dress Ruth Bolton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought that. Your father struck him as an honorable man. <laughs> oh, God. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. 
That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. You didn't mean it, did you? No doubt she was pleased. But Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats bitch. need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I oh god, he wants sex with me. It's all fun and games until somebody from the Shire wants sex with you. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the norm. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. <laughs> if I could select, I selected the wrong choices. As an answer, I would. you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. <gasps> painted what? red. It's true. Hey, black painted and red. Over in my Hi. The red viper. I'm told uh, you're paramount. He's quite handsome, I guess. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? Let's get into a power fight. Although marrying a king, I can only imagine Naked. what that would be like. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, uh, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Right. Of course. Well, she's I would marry him. Imagine she's squinting her eyes at me. That of us had trouble seeing. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Oh, God. It's my master, my sex well, slave master. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are power. will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. Yeah, I do Michael Bolton might sing horrible music as into her ears. It may have been. Thank you, my lady. We don't want that. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. 
Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Can we have a threesome? It's about my family. Because it's, you know, Game of Thrones. I trust her. Can we? Can we do this? Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown... By the way, a heads up, uh, Black Painted Red. I have no idea who the hell these characters are. I know nothing of the show. I never really had any desire to watch it. So I'm just weaning us. Just another Thursday. Yep, just another Thursday. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Oh, I see what you did there, because today is Thursday. Never mind. You can't, my lady. I thought Keep maybe that's when Game like of Thrones it. was on. Think how we turned on Lady I'll Sansa. be in your debt. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make you Game of Trolls. Yeah. Anything. Thank you, my lady. By the way, hey, Dawn. You know what? I'm Dave. Dave was in here earlier when I was uh, doing my uh, stream for um, Tales from the Borderlands, but I'm actually kind of surprised that he's not in here watching me play this because I know how dear this show is to him. Shade because. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure what what you said that passed why for. I was kind of like paying attention to the Twitch chat there. So, what was the pest why for their shade? Hold on, I'm gonna just pay attention to what's going on here. Oh, good, another Hobbit. Oh, that was a female. Well, hot damn. Not my best work, I wanted to look from the I left. I but he didn't make it easy. What with all that nutty noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? The lord? Shh. Listen. There. Hear that? Wrong tree. I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time. Oh, right tree, but he didn't continue going. I think I made the right move there. <laughs> All right. 
time to look at Mega Woman. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's do this. That's a guy I'm going to be severely disappointed. Sleep. <laughs> Lord Ethan. Thorin the Bold, who sees back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Why did you kick him? Me. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Yes, Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Hmm. The girl would probably be displeased if I have him killed. I will decide. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I'm not gonna send him to the wall. But for stealing, I'm gonna take three fingers. I, Ethan of House Forester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime. It's three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! I'm pretty sure she'll still be dis... dis ha er, sorry. <clears throat> Pissed at me for choosing that instead. I am willing to carry it out. If you do not feel good. You may carry out the sentence. No, my family. This is injustice, my lord! The Lord's Judgment, Bronze Trophy Received. <laughs> Time to go over there and talk to her and see how she's pissed. But a Lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? 
Yes. Did I do what's right? As Maester, I cannot support mutilation. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God. I can't. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. What is our one? Yeah. The bracer of the Sentinel. The badge of office. Tonight is your first small well, council meeting. Okay, then. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To Mercy, show you, you screwed up in and in control of this <laughs> house. Your Sentinel Sorry, Shane. To see. Sorry, I didn't choose what you would choose. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Let's see. Um... I hear the enemy are still also back and forth in the midst of being formal. Like the that girl's clothes are annoying because they don't look from the timeline period. Oh, okay. Throw the fingers in the stew. <laughs> he always thought one that. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see. Duncan. I'm just gonna look at him. I think this is the guy that doesn't look all pissy at me all the time. But then again, I think I did something to him, or said something before that he didn't approve. He's making bacon. What's this guy? Hmm. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war is taking its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand the siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in <sighs> desperate times. Last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see Ooh. to the arrangements, my lord. I wanted to see what he would choose if I chose that. So that's not good. I don't like this guy based on his answer. Where's that other guy at? I chose I choose this guy. <laughs> Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this so I remember. I mean I can never forget, but... I'm honored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. You call this a knife? I call this a knife. You'll have a good sword. I'm Kill sure your own brother. <laughs> I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Even though I quoted that wrong. Anyway. Was he... 
our enemy. A bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Any man who betrays our family, who becomes a danger to you or Talia, that is my enemy. Then, I'm glad you punished him. Men like him killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Let's see, catching up on comments here. He is funny looking. That's not nice, black painted red. I would have said the same thing. So, touche. <laughs> anyway. Uh... It's understandable. <laughs> yeah, that's all, yeah. I know nothing of the show. Uh, okay. Let's look at a gate. Decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This long, ready? No, we're failing. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power. Especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, if you ask me the way you handled that thing, it was the right thing to do. Come on, you dogs. You'll not be fighting here forever. Good bracer, too. Ah, uh, okay. What is this guy? Ah, there she is. Can I talk to her? Apparently not. I want to choose her. Can I choose her? <laughs> Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. If you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. Rasha? She has asked me to return with her, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you, Nessos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice, and I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men, and will bring strength and discipline to this house. That's who I was thinking, but I just wanted to see what he say. Now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. 
Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Chef Ramsay apparently is coming to attack our castle. Or, our, sorry, our house. Um, so, yeah, I gotta make sure I Mother choose Tony, Roland, I guess. Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? You think it's easy. I'm the third-born son. Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the... What? Ethan, please. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong, decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember? Oh, I already made a judgment. You're calling, you know, you were already ashamed of me for it. That's why I'm asking you. I only wish you See what you would choose. See what you would if you would do any better. Given me good advice. Thank you. That's not advice. That's just like saying I don't want to get in the middle of your shit. God damn it, woman. Alright, fine. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, so Thank you, my lord. Are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But you must summon the small council to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester or Tengring to do it at once. I don't know, he looked a little cocky when he said that. It's almost like he was gonna, you know, fuck me over. It's like, oh, are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Can I... no? Okay. Can I move faster? Oh, apparently I can. Well, goddamn, if I would've known that. Jesus. Dun, 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 dun. Um, uh, uh, let's talk to this guy. I didn't talk to him yet, I don't think. Maester? Yes, Rudy. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Oh, it's that guy. Okay. When it showed him, it looked like he was on the left side of the screen. Just the way they were showing him. Kind of threw me off. What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Okay. Uh, black painted red. Um, or Dylan, anyone? What is ironwood? What, what is this ironwood they speak of? I don't understand. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. I think a long term here. Okay. All right. My lord. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, yes I am. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I'm gonna name the little kid. The what are you called? I know it is a common name for a large number of woods that have a reputation for hardness. Is that like a term that's used today, or is this a term that's like used like back? way back then, or is... I, I never heard of anybody use the term Ironwood before. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. We are going to eat all of the bacon we can before we go into battle. 
there was one man who stood above all others. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. A lord's now, depute. sentinel. So we're talking about. You have to report at Ramsey Snow. My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons iron in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsey Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they? We able I just doomed us all. My lord, that was my plan. Diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Ah. Well then. Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait as you gaze upon Iron Run. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan, fare the house. I should have selected the gates, but oh well. YOLO! There will you only live once. those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of 
course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asha back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad. Why couldn't it just say your mother re will remember that? Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Okay, uh, hold on. Ironwood is a type of tree found in northern Westeros, including in the Wolf's Wood in the north and the haunted forest beyond the wall. It is a hard black wood on the Westeros wiki. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Uh, salmon. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where the hell did she put that? Something tells me that's gonna bite me on the ass later. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king, I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look, the other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? Oh, she's got that look of I'm pissed. The king was not inclined help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. Now. But it will be a long time before Ow. I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. <laughs> this is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now... We must both be Queen conscious. boobs. I must send a raven. I have Queen to of the boobs. Family, if you'll excuse me, my lady.
Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I just want you to know I I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, Milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who Please I must really ignore you. And leave. They won't be willing to help you. Can get kind of dry here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stop watching me, creepy oblivion guy. This is an Elder Scrolls. Get out of here. He should be here. Oh, fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this oh look, it's Hobbit and this old piss ass. Or sorry, this asshole Not old man. Ironwood is near impervious to flame. Is you know what they need to make for a TV May show? Game of Lord Thrones, Ramsay but like Bolton? you know, more ghetto-ish. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you. Warden. No. That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token it's like a rape face the there. <laughs> warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Owen. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <coughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could. But not this. Apparently. Look at that. Raw forest. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your own. The Crown, however, wants what you do. Whatever you've been supplying the stars for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar. Would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little one. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? 
He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal banners. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. You can easily just like take out a sword and just like slice his head off. What? what? The iron. Fat guy's not gonna move fast enough to like stop. White hills are nothing more than upjump thieves. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't. We are talking about trees. We grow them. We cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little Lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who feels better. But my lord... Half of something is better, than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son. Griff. Griff. We'll lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's. Do make this visit. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. What? <laughs> Hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted. I said leave them be! I've had you. You come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like Hunt? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh. Oh. What have you done? Oh. But I don't want a ball. No. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! My lord! Oh, no. I knew you had eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't keep this. Take the boy as your wall. Kill him. I can't take this seriously. I just can't. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mixer quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let me take me! You will not take him! Wrecked. And just like that, oh, a lord's reception. Silver trophy has earned. Your story has begun. Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. 
This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Gold Trophy, Squire. You and 34.5% left Bowen behind. You and 37% swore loyalty to Mar uh, Marjorie. You and 16% took Eric's fingers. You and 30.4% pick Royland as Cent Cent Centennial. You and 49.7% met Ramsey and the Great Hall. So, yeah. See, Ramsey is a psycho. Should have seen that coming. So, this game does not make me want to watch Game of Thrones at all, to be honest. It doesn't even change my opinion on wanting to actually, like, view it. Like, I still... You know, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Um, overall, if I had the chance to play more of this story, just to, like, blindly pick things and not really know what the hell is going on and all this stuff and whatever. Well, no, like, what I mean by, like, what's going on, I mean, like, for the characters, like, who they are, like what you know is more the right decision or you know wrong decision and stuff like that and whatever um <laughs> and, uh, i i mean because you know usually for these games people are like you know what i want to be the good guy i want to decide and do this what's right and you know the cause you know more peaceful something that's more you know on the happier scale and stuff like that and whatever or like you know more friendly scale and whatever but since this is Game of Thrones, I assume that none of that even exact actually exists. Um, I would play more of it just to, like, you know, make more, like, of these terrible decisions that I made. I, I still don't really get the whole hubbub of this show. I really don't. Um... I'm not saying it's a bad show, don't get me wrong, but it's just not something that I would... It's not my cup of tea. It's not something I would watch. I've never watched it before, don't get me wrong, but... I just don't... Don't care for... I just don't really care to watch it. I don't know. So, this has been a... Um, This has been my let's try of um, Game of Thrones. Another Telltale game, obviously, as you can see here. Um, episode 1. That was also free on the PlayStation Network. Um, Thanks for watching, everyone.